Hello YouTube! Uh, this is a tutorial for, I guess, I don't know what these kids are calling it these days, uh, maybe like the soft grunge, like the pastel, that weird trend that's happening all over Tumblr, Pinterest, Instagram, all of that nonsense. Uh, paled up eyes, uh, basically doesn't look like you have any makeup at all on except for super fierce brows and winged eyeliner and like a really dark lip. Um, I guess goth soft grunge, soft whatever they are calling it on the internet, I don't know. The internet is a co very confusing and my like, very vast place for a young smurfosaur to understand. I can't do it, but if you want to see how to do this look, stay tuned and check out the video. Thanks! Now, concealer. This is Benefits Erase Paste in Fair. Uh, Looks like this. Um, put it underneath your eye. Uh, don't do half moon shapes. Do basically like really long triangles. So I'll show you. Okay. I don't know if you can see that because this is like a pretty sheer. Uh, drop my mirror. I don't know if you can see this because it's uh because of the lighting and it's a little bit sheer, but do basically triangles facing down that'll lift your eye up and actually conceal and not make you look like you're wearing as much concealer because it won't just be in one place. It blends out a little better. So after that, blend that in. Okay. Uh, once that's blended in, uh, again, don't ever like pull or rub on your eye. Basically, just like tap with your uh, ring finger. That's the lightest, that finger will apply the lightest amount of pressure, so just use that one and just tap it a little bit and it'll blend. Don't rub. Basically, if you do that, you're just wasting product and causing yourself wrinkles too early. You don't want that. So next, foundation. And this is Bare Minerals. You can do use whatever type of foundation you want, but if you're using Bare Minerals, swirl with the big flawless face brush and get it all worked in there. And then tap off the extra. And then you just swirl it into your face and make sure you don't put too much product on all at once. Uh, if you want more coverage, just keep doing another layer. Don't try and put all of that on at one time. Okay, now that foundation's done, uh, this is a little more muted of a makeup look so we're not going to go too crazy on the contour and highlights and all that um next is just the radiant it is. uh this radiance is called glee it's also by bare minerals uh you can use any blush that's like a light or baby pink just don't try not to uh darken your face too much um same with this swirl and tap and then just apply it to your face on your cheekbones uh, around basically in a three here here swoop and underneath your chin I'm not gonna do good worry about all up here because I have bangs but if you don't that's another place you can put it looks nice um, and this just makes you look a little bit not not dead uh, this is a little bit dark for what I'm going for today, so if you do put on too much, just take another one of these, one of the big flawless face brush, and you can just blend it out a little more. I'm going to put on a base for my eyeshadow before I put my eyebrows on. I just find it easier to blend out, that way I don't have to like worry about ruining eyebrows that are like half drawn on. So, pretty easy. Okay, now that that's on, um, we're going to do eyebrows. Uh, I'm not going to go over how to do eyebrows. I have that in another video. Uh, you can go watch that as well as on my channel. So I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick, and then we will get right back to the eyeshadow and all the fun stuff. Yeah. Okay, eyebrows are done. Now on to the fun part. Um, yeah, eyeshadow. Fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. 
So this is really, really basic. This is a really basic look. Most of this look is all in the eyebrows and in the lips. Uh, very little in eyeshadow. Um, I'm just using this super fancy $10 e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. I think I got it at Target. It was $10. Uh, this is like the thing I use for the colors that I don't use very often because uh, I'm not going to spend $20 on an eyeshadow when I'm only going to use it once a month. That's, that's just silly. Nobody, nobody wants to do that. Um, so for this, you want your eyeshadow to be like as close to your skin tone as possible. So it's gonna be it's gonna be different for everybody. Uh, for me, it's this one, uh, third one from the bottom uh, of the palette. Uh, for anybody else, just try your best to match it up with uh, with your skin. And then we're just gonna load the brush up. Yeah, yeah, load it, load it real good. Uh, one of these little flat guys and just put that all over your lid and all over your brow bone just pretty much put it everywhere now that your lids are all one solid color uh, we're just going to put one more just to define it a little bit uh, Use a color that's just slightly, maybe one shade darker than your skin tone. Um, for me, that would be the third one from the top on this palette. Uh, third, second row in. So that one. And use your crease brush and then just go into your crease with this color and it'll just define it a little more and give it a little bit of shadow so it looks like you don't have one color on your entire eyelid. There's a little bit of a highlight, but it doesn't really look like I'm wearing that much eyeshadow. That's exactly what you want. Um, now we're just going to take that same... Uh, we're going to take a angled brush and we're going to use that same color. And we're just going to do the underneath lash line. Okay, and we're not going to do that super heavily, just enough to make it a little stand out just slightly more. Um, and after that, basically, basically you're done. Now you're just going to do, for the eyes at least, now just do the liquid eyeliner. Normally when people do this look, it's like a really severe, like, cat eye, like, winged nonsense. Uh, if you want to do that, go for it. If not, uh, this could be a really simple everyday look. If you just admit the really super eyeliner and the lipstick. So I'm going to do super winged eyeliner. Easiest way to do that is make dots. I don't really make dots anymore, but if you need to make the dots, make dots, make sure the dots are even, and then basically just connect everything together. Um, or you can just freehand it, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, now those are pretty even. Uh, if you notice, I messed up a little bit because one random stray brush hair wanted to not be in line with the rest and it kind of messed the whole thing up. But it's just a little bit, so if that does happen, take a little bit of concealer, especially with a look like this, which is super easy because it's skin tone. Take a little bit of concealer and you can just kind of correct it. So get like the tiniest, tiniest little brush tiniest little itty bitty concealer brush and just go over that one little piece and you won't be able to see it anymore. It's like a magic eraser except for with makeup. All gone. And usually since it's just like a, the tiniest little like bit of uh, eyeliner that's gone rogue, you don't really have to set the concealer, you don't really have to do anything else except for like dot it. It's kind of like using white out when you like mess up just a little bit on a piece of paper. So that's done. Now, for this, we don't want drastic, like, black eyeliner, so we're going to use white. Ooh, this is one of, unless I'm wearing, like, full theatrical clown makeup or doll makeup, this is one of, like, the few times I will ever wear a white eyeliner because I feel it. 
I feel incomplete without big black circles around my eyes. I just don't like it. It scares me. So, eyeliner. Um, remember, try not to pull in your eye. Just draw across your eyelid. Uh, be very careful about poking yourself in the eye or doing anything like that. Um, but you'll see me doing it and just practice because you don't want to be pulling on your eyes. It can cause problems years down the road from damage that you do now. There's the white eyeliner. Uh, white eyeliner, when it's on your waterline, generally doesn't stay completely white. Um, I don't know. I've never really bought expensive white eyeliner. I've only ever kind of bought like drugstore brands or like NYX or anything like uh, along that same vein. I don't know if uh, better ones stay on longer. I had an Urban Decay one and that didn't that one didn't stay any longer than a drugstore one, so I stopped buying nice ones. Um, just mess around with them, see which ones you like better. A lot of times it won't stay white white, but it will stay lighter, and that's really all you're going for. The lighter it is, the bigger your eyes look and the more it opens them, so that's what you want in this situation. Um, now mascara. Now on to another fun part, which is the lips. We are almost done. All we gotta do is lips and lashes and then everything will be over. Um, for the lips, I've already put on lip balm. I use the Blistex medicated stuff. You can use whatever you want. Carmex, chapstick, um, pretty much anything that's gonna keep your lips soft. If you have problems, it's starting to get to be like winter time in my, in my area. So if you do have problems with chapped lips and like flaky skin, uh, when you brush your teeth, use a toothbrush on your lips and it'll scrape all that stuff off and then like immediately put chapstick on. Uh, sleep with heavy chapstick. I put coconut oil on my lips a lot and that helps. I have really, really dry skin. So if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, um, what we're going to use is the NYX. Uh, it's the NYX Butter Lipstick and this is Hunk. Yeah, this says Hunk. It's like a dark purple. It's not quite as dark as what we want, so we're just going to use uh, black eyeliner on top of it. Um, I don't know if you can put black eyeliner on your mouth, but I do it all the time for theater makeup because it's the only black that's going to stay on your face. So you can just mix the two. And I feel like as long as you put the lipstick on first, it's not, even if you shouldn't put it around your mouth, it's probably not a big deal as long as there's something underneath of it. Mm. I'm not dead yet, so it's probably okay. Um, now it's just a little bit darker in the corners. I'm not very good at putting lipstick on because I never wore it when I was younger, so I never really understood how people could put it on like without a mirror or anything like that. So I usually mess up in the corners. If you do, you can do this. You can fix it the same way that you fixed the um, the eyeliner mistake. Just use concealer and dab over top of it. Uh, there's still some on this brush, so I can just still. Use it. And there you go. I'm gonna put on lashes and I'll be right back. And now this look is done. If you're like me and you have piercings in your face, don't forget to clean them off because little foundation things, and it's really easy, just go with your finger, like with the sound and everything. And then all your piercings are clean. Um, it looks really weird if people have like makeup caked all in their piercings. It's not that noticeable if you just have a tiny nostril screw, but if you have like stretched things in your face or like anything hanging or any type of hoops, you can definitely see it and it definitely looks weird. So be conscious of that. Don't forget to do that part. But here it is. Here's the end of the look. So goodbye. If you want to see anything else, leave them in the comments. I will check them. Goodbye, YouTube.